it's you. It's you. Uh uh uh. Now you are. Oh my God! You. Oh my God! She was holding me. No one was stopping. Get her fucking away! Get her away! No! Yeah, look. Get her away from me! Oh, y'all better get this lady. Bro, <laughs> yo, when I be seeing videos like this, you know what I'm saying? Because this would probably be considered uh, Karen behavior. When I see videos like this, I usually wonder, like, how do the husbands feel when they see their wives behaving this way on the internet? You know what I'm saying? Like, if I was her husband, I would have left. Like, this this is divorce. You feel what I'm saying? This is divorce. But then again, I'm, I don't want to, I don't, this is not racist, but I, I feel as though, like, White men be knowing what they be signing up for. Like, a lot of white dudes that marry women like this is like, I feel as though they know what they signed up for. They know, all right, my wife is like this. You know, the world has finally seen it. I'm embarrassed, but I'm in here for the long, for the long run. You're the one running to her. Oh, my heart's racing. I just came to get a hey. She told him, Get here. I'm hoping my heart's racing. Oh, see, see, see. Did you see that? Stop threatening me. See, and she's saying I'm threatening her. I'm not saying nothing to her. I gotta stop coming here. This is the safe mall. She should be escorted out the mall. She tried to attack me twice. You doing that because she white and she crying. Yeah. No. Uh, it's you. It's you. Uh, uh, uh. There's some dangerous people running around this world, man. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Oh, man. <laughs> what are you? Not the TV. Stop. Oh, the PlayStation. No. Please stop. I know. Please, please stop. Stop it. You said you like to stop. No, it's not me. Stop. Stop, please. Go. Please leave. Please leave. Please leave. I know. Please leave. Leave. Please leave. Hey, that's my wallet. I can't. I can't watch a video. With my phone going off. People calling me. Hello. Hello. What's going on, wife? I was uh, working on a video. Oh. Have you seen, um, do you know if it's a boxing range, boxing gym over here or on Peachtree Industrial? I'm, I'm not sure why. Because I think I saw one, but I don't know if it's like a boxing uh, gym. It's like behind the Firestone Tire Place. It's like right when you make the... I'm making a, the right turn to get on Peachtree Industrial, like the next block after you make that right turn, and it has like a red, white, and black emblem on it. But I couldn't read the words from where I was. But um, I, don't know, I know you know you usually go to Knuckle Up, but this one is a little closer, so 
I just want to know if like it was on your radar at all. Like if you heard of it or uh, seen it in passing. I might. I'll look for it. That sound like the gym that Six used to go to. So if it is, oh, I it would... wasn't knuckle up where he went to. No. Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh. If it is, I'm not going there. Cause I don't. Oh, know. you don't want to go knuckle up. No, no, no. I'm talking about the gym that he used to go to. Oh, yeah. That, I mean, that would make sense. Because you want him to train you, right? Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay, well, I just saw it and I thought about you. So I was wondering if you, you heard of it. All right. What's him doing? He's upstairs. You said he upstairs? Yeah. All right, well, um, I'm like, what the fuck is this Shit ass car doing. I'm on my way home. I'm five minutes away. Okay. Alright. Bye. Bye. Hey, husband, what are you doing? I'm working on a video. And proceeds to, to keep talking. She proceeds to keep talking. You know I'm working on a video, but you proceed to keep talking. Um, anyway, this, this particular video is 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 trash. Like Women like this, I don't, I try to stay away from because that's a case waiting to happen. Leave, please. Stop recording me. Please leave. No. Call the cops and get you arrested I know. right now. Please Stop leave. recording me. what I say? Leave. Stop recording me. Stop recording me. I'll have you arrested right now and ruin your fucking life like you ruined mine. Okay. And his dumb ass stopped recording. And his dumb ass stopped recording. Yeah. Why are you? Why'd you do that? Because I can hear you from where I live, and I'm tired of it. Why? Why are you tired of it? Isn't it a good thing to do to because preach the truth of God's loud. word? It should be loud. You're fucking loud. You gotta reach you a lot of people. Too loud. You gotta reach a lot of people. This is no. good news. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. People no, are in. Don't. They're in danger of hell. Babies no, are. Be babies are being murdered. Why do you think that's a good thing to do, man? Because that's what I hear every time I hear you talking. No, that's not what you hear. That's not what I'm yeah, doing. Do. I'm preaching yeah, out I here. Do. I'm preaching truth. No. And I'm speaking up for babies. I don't want to hear. <laughs> Yo. I don't understand how people like this exist. The crazy thing is, like, she is not even wrong in the situation. She's not wrong, okay? I'm guessing the dude is on the sidewalk with his um his microphone, and he's preaching, and he's just talking loud as hell, and she can't sleep. The neighbors can't sleep. But then instead of... Being a normal person about the situation, she decides to come in there and do this. Why do you have a Why do you have a problem with Go what home. I'm saying? Go home. There's a stay-at-home order that you are literally not a black. Her voice is annoying. Why aren't no, you at home? I, I need to preach the word of God. Go home. Here. I need to Go reach people out here. Home, you asshole. Excuse me. I will continue screaming. Oh God. Would you like that? Because I'm actually finding it really, really relaxing. Well, why don't you explain to me why what I'm doing is wrong? Go the fuck home. Why don't you like what I'm doing? Go the fuck home. Go the fuck home. Nope. Are gonna be here, so I live a block right here. I get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here. I'm, I'm going to continue to preach. Go the fuck home! I'm to be. Go the no, fuck I'm going I'm to preach. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. I need then to. get a fucking church, pay property taxes. No, I need to go out to where the lost people are, right? Oh, snap. I need to go out to where the lost people are, to where the people are. Well, people can hear my words. They can be convicted by the Holy Spirit. This is the neighborhood, and you are not welcome. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Wait. I thought they were playing. I thought the Gaberhood. 
I read this shit at the top. It said Gaberhood Karen, but this is the Gaberhood. I mean, of course, I see the rainbow. I see the rainbow in the uh, in the crosswalk. Um, <clears throat> That's why I need to be here. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really got no words. The neighborhood does not play. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I ain't trying to get canceled today. Uh, Real steady. I'm actually, actually on the lap here sitting. Oh. Did you wait? No, no, no. Did you actually just walk in here? Did you just walk in here? Did you just walk in here? Ow! All right, Bernie. He's actually gonna sit on your. On your no. Why do you want him to sit on this man's lap? We have another uh, okay. I don't get like why you want the, the little boy to sit on this grown ass man's lap, huh? Rest in peace, Bernie Mac. But he wasn't having that. No, no, no. So here's a prime example of how a lie can destroy a career. For those of you who don't know, this is Jonathan Major. Jonathan Major has been one of the up-and-coming uh, superstar actors in Hollywood. He was recently in Creed 3. He was in Ant-Man. I mean, he's in a lot of other upcoming projects. And just like that, his rising star may be over. Why? Because a woman accused him of assaulting her. And before the truth could get out, he lost two contracts. Damn. One of those contracts was the U.S. Army, who he was in commercials for. The U.S. Army, which I don't want to badmouth, but they have a history of domestic violence issues, and they dropped him in a snap. Come to find out, the truth, the truth was, many people, many witnesses who were at the scene said, he wasn't the one who assaulted. In fact, did you know that the person who called 911 was Jonathan Majors, and that the woman who accused him of assault recanted her story, took it back, said he never did it. This is an example, and it's happened numerous times through history, where lies go around much faster than the truth. People want to believe the lies before the truth comes out. So the lesson here is, judge slowly. Don't automatically jump to conclusions. Look at all the facts before you make your mind up. When you famous, you know, when you reach a certain status in life, you have to be very careful of the people you have around you. You got to be very careful of the places you go because all it takes, man, all it takes is one person who just not feeling you and decide, you know what, I'm going to fuck this man's career up, and they'll do it. So you have to be very careful.